I didn't think I would find a totally new shaped fun fold, but Creales did it. Hello, I am Karen Hashik of Karen's Creative Cards, and I'm sharing this video both on my YouTube channel and Creales. This On The Move number 29 Design S die set takes a half sheet of cardstock and turns it into this fun freestanding card. You can see it stands up like that. It has the front flap that you can decorate, and then you have your sides and the back. There's a, there is a slot back here, and when you mail it, you can mail it in a, an, a legal size envelope or a slimline envelope, and then when they get them, get it in the mail, let them know that they should um, put these slots together. and then it will stand up with lots of cheer. I made this sending you love card for a friend who's under the weather, and I added a rainbow created with another new die in this release. I wanted to say sending you love, and I had the you and the love dies from Crayleys, but I did not have sending, and my alphabet dies are way too big. So what I did is I just cut up many of their word dies and created sending. So if you want a certain word and you don't have it, look at your other uh, sentiment dies, and maybe you can create it. It was that simple. Here is another stand-up fun fold card I made. This time it was with the number 27 Design S on the Move die set and some new charm dies. Just look at how fun those are. There's a layer you can put them on to create a hanging charm or you can just use them as decorations like I did there. I like to decorate the side and that's another one of those charm dies and I just snipped off the little hanging piece. And then the back um, part of this also has decorative uh, elements that you can use. I really like the stitch die uh, dies, but there's a layer with and without stitching on all of these. So you can choose to use both or just one. So um, lots of different um, ways to use these. I thought that this die set would make a fun table decoration for an upcoming special birthday celebration, and I'm going to make that with you now. Uh, these are the layered pieces of this die, and then this is the main piece. And all you do is you cut out the main piece. Now, you'll need a sheet of paper that's 11 by four and a quarter. So you could get two out of one piece of cardstock. Now I have a long cutting surface um, as you can see, but if you don't have one, if you don't have a longer set of cutting plates, you could just die cut half and then flip it and die cut the other half. So any die cutting machine should work for this these die sets. So all you do is, there are scored lines, so you just fold on the scored lines. And then there's a scored line here with the slot. And if you were putting this together right away, you would just slide those slots together. But we're going to decorate it first. So um, I have die cut the two front layered pieces and they're going to go right there. So let's glue those together. Make sure they line up here. I got some new holographic uh, cardstock, so I'm making this a bright and cheerful table decoration for a birthday. So the two uh, triangular pieces on the back 
um, I have cut out with the stitching and the holograph paper and the black and I will put those on once I put the card together. They don't actually go on the front, they go on the back when it gets, you know, put together. So I'll wait on that. I just want to make sure I put them on the right side. I have the bigger layered Happy Birthday um, die uh, set here that I'm using. And again, some bright holographic paper. This will stick off, but that's okay um, because this piece does um, pop up and stick out. Happy birthday. And then we're going to put this on the front. And then this folds back and these slots uh, get um, put together and it's that easy um, to get it to stand up. Um, I want to always make sure I, I, I uh, put those triangles on the right side which I think technically is the back but I'm going to mark it just to be sure <laughs> um, and um, put these decorative pieces on as well. with an even border. I just love the color combination of red, black, and silver. back together again. So um, you can see it has the sides here and then those triangular pieces stick out and are also decorative and then it stands up for display and of course this can just be a card that you send and then they stand up for display but my thought on this one was I was going to take stars that I die cut with this rough edge star set uh, XXL rough edge star set that I just love and I cut a whole bunch of holographic stars out in different sizes and my thought was to have some of them standing up um, with strips of acetate. So let's see. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is put a couple of the smaller ones on the front. Um, I have some glue dots here that I was going to use. So I thought that would be fun here and on the other side. And I have a third, but I think I'll wait because I'm going to put some coming out the top and the sides. So. I cut some acetate strips a half an inch um, and then I cut them in half 
uh, so may, what is that, about three inches or so. Um, I was thinking here, um, maybe a smaller one. There, let's put it on and see where we like it. I hadn't tried this before, so we're just going to see. I think it's going to work. Now, um, I don't want to go too crazy high, I don't think, but I'm going to put that one there. Um, so maybe cut off a little bit of this bottom and get another glue dot. It would be in the front, yeah. Maybe like that. Now I cut a really big one, but it might be too big. Um, but I could, do you think, that might be kind of fun. What if we just put one, well, you see the back though, don't you? So maybe not. Maybe we'll just put them on the acetate. Yeah, because if I come up from the side, unless we put two of these together, which we could do, Let's try that. See, like I said, I hadn't tried this before. But, um, I think I like that idea. So, if we put this like this, and then we probably use a little glue, but not too much because this holograph paper doesn't really like glue if it comes out. And then let's line the two of these up. Then the back won't be ugly. Now they're not going to line up perfectly, but it's really, really close. I don't think that little bit of a white edge is going to be a problem. And then if we put this in here, <laughs> stick into my nails. That's kind of fun, huh? And then, so I've used the two larger ones. Um, I could come off the side here or this side. I think I'll do that other side. Um, and maybe not use acetate on this one. It's fun. This one could use another one in the back, and I think I will sneak that on as well. And then, um, put one more small one. have a very fun decorative tape, decorative table decoration for a birthday. You could even put the name on if you wanted to. 
Um, I think that that's a really fun way to use this die set and so easy to make as you saw. I hope my projects encourage you to give some of these ideas and products a try. And remember that the dies you saw are all available at the Creeley's website and in the USA at the Frantic Stamper website.